Ebu chia fo ha aye kona ba television. Ube timi ashe stream no bisu enye bieti. A brand TV ewo South Africa. Ni di anka sa nko fo edi friend eye Mr. Pull the Trigger. Anaswa wano anka sa nso eye page wako obo so macho se Prof X. Na aye Prof X one da aye screen su yina uti ase mwa aye Prof X eye bekan ewo aye fidi suwa. Prof X eye ba abe chire aye a trufu wa di fo maku maku aye 8 eh. E mwa chun a ewo o my gane mu. O chile se South Africa wana wano wano ewo no. A trufu wa di fo ewo kloni su yina na aye gana fo wa so fo wa trufu wa di fo ewo bebo mu di and this argument is about all over the African continent. And so, on the other hand, we are still listening to the first Now, first list here on the other one, we are going to have a page. We are going to have a page. We are going to have a part one. We are part two. And we are going to release it. And so, we are going to have a page. Hello, I'm going to have a page. So, I'm going to have a page. 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 Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong kwa. What did you choose? I am always seeing aye fita. Na aye fita nonso no. Na aye and carbonate beer a wo wo no mu beer. Any tea stain, coffee stain, smoking stain si beer. Unique laser whitening product. A be yini ni na free swa ma kama kama kama. The other one is a uchu so. Na wo di beer go. Wo brush the so. Na wo di uchu choose ni su ni na kama. Oh yeah, and who who we know Jano we know Musa. Into for unique laser whitening. I was zero seven nine 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 seven nine two three three zero. Zero seven nine 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 zero seven nine 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 or the video we edit kind ever to so and as a message we ever to the page ya na all chile e wane nka se emu se e ye sofu yi o da e ye screen yi sui o nanu e tu ana mo pen anante pen a o si sa sofu no o bie ni msofu ya ye kana se mi sofu yi e ni nyani o ufuo e wane aso e demo hono ye nka yi e ye krata pu da trigger e pu isti ye e wo di page yi so o si the day before he performed the resurrection miracle of Elliot he called and asked me to attend the service because he intended to perform a miracle that no man has ever done except Jesus. In my mind, I thought he wanted to turn water into wine. Later did I know he had a resurrection miracle in mind. The rest was history. The stage miracle went viral and the next call I received from him was, how can I manage this and make it go away? Most of you wonder where Elliot is. Did he really die again? Or what finally led to a local running away from South Africa? Can I pull the trigger and bring you enlightenment? I don't have any evil agenda towards any man. Just want the body of Christ to be enlightened and resurrect sleeping gallibles. We a and someone a yet pull the trigger a little too ja. Ah, watch the owner in Cassie and say, or no pull the trigger and papa or the screen you see. Eye na damfo, anu wana niye den, etu wana mwona, bifu wakwa kwenyani uwufu wana aswa dem hono. Oni di hun komo, e kache nese ombra, na adye de babo nti nwye niswa ye se, ebe den wama saadi ya niswa ye den, efri ho. Mwa mwen ka isa e video na, eye pull the trigger, eye kan hwa se mwye no. Eno anamye di ebe tu screen yisui, mwen ka eye video ya ede screen yisui, mwen mwen video. Family that is about to take a corpse to Zimbabwe. Hey! Back of the state corpse is beginning to move. He said, now, now, God. Now, now. Jesus. Yeah. Jesus. So did, where did you keep the body? The body was on the mortuary. Jesus. This body is coming from the mortuary. Yes. Is that? From the capsule. That's yes, the mortuary. My God, my God, my God. A short time. Hola, basse. Hola, bahari. A short time. Man of God is commanding life. Rise up! Come on! Come on! Hey! My Jesus! 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 Never seen in the entire world. Which manner of God? Is this one? Which manner of God is this one? Hey. Jesus is Lord. 
Okay, enti a yes of one in your name, a yet guy no a way, you know, a woman in soon no way. A do maybe crammer a yet to tell more than a new mood in the bruta. Ah, any asem ketwa. This is the video I uh, pull the trigger. I can a huwa semono, which means I pull the trigger. Ni mun semua oka. And uti na ni semua oka no metai fan the series because I say wano man ante penpa. Or no, and what you wear, and you know, for you, and you know, and what you want to or read a money salad, and you know, 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 and and who come more and a pull the trigger a post to a wood page na all can't a home as a mono. It's a brand new lady, dear Riaja, or no news. And no video, and I say no more information and a pull the trigger and the twenty page a wood Facebook and na all can't say over pulling the trigger. No, okay, my uncle, you're going to hear in some more. I pull the trigger and the other two are a software war on my gun and more. Oh, so soon, and I say, oh, who is why in a research and your confirmation say. Omo ya true for a for according to a ye pull the trigger. Yenti in some way pull the trigger a can ye ewo ni video ye. Scandalous, thieves, robbers, and criminals that are masquerading as true servants of Christ in Ghana. That are lying to people that they were sent by God in Ghana. That are pretending to be representing the body of Christ in Ghana. That are lying to gullibles, to believers that they are sent from God. These are a cancer in the nation of Ghana. And the reason why Ghana is my main you know country of interest when it comes to these things of exposing prophetic charlatans and exposing false prophets and exposing cancerous dubious and you know unrepented so-called men of god is because in now me are very happy say me who you say madame for and i said me i mean from another mother ah or a african a whole different african country so uh south africa and war what joining this crusade uh, I'm looking more into saying who a lot of bloggers to join this crusade. And your crusade kitu a bit middle who are to myself kwa ku yebi. Yes, like that. A ya dear be as uncle for you may dear or mood dear. Any a yes spread bonnie a cura woman. The unio beer won't so old in this as one could a who dee. Now it may bomb pie and also will be beer and so the balls won't buy a untimin yes edge my way be. It's the beer and I make us a bloggers may be no and try. No one chum whom fear so for what truth will for no. Mu interview on my baby, now mu call my chain, now mu no mu didi, now mu no mu yesi, now mu musicali sa no mani omano. Unti mi inka na asem soye boni ya. And unti na wuhu a lot of bloggers doing this job. It mi who said these guys are about, I mean, page fronter. Oh yes, you may deal with South Africa. Now you have breast our Ghana so no. I'm saying oh when you na guy we o mini business. Eh, me na member mu o bi bumu dia edi enya dia meet me aje mu. Yenti e de pull the trigger eka. Ghana, that's where this whole prophetic junk nonsense came from. So in Ghana, if we uproot this whole system from where it started, this is going to give us a very good mileage when it comes to accomplishing what we need to accomplish at the end of the day, which is to put an end to, charlatan, to charlatanism. And I'm so proud that, you know, the political systems in Ghana, remember Ghana is the second country after Rwanda to actually come up with a set of rules upon which these charlatans, these false prophets must operate on. Ghana is the second country to start regulating these charlatans in, in Ghana. Remember in Ghana, that's where all this junk is coming from. And in Ghana, if you go to Ghana right now, each and every corner of Ghana, it's a prophetic church, it's a prophetic church, another charlatan there, another charlatan there. It's all over. And these people, what they have just done is to milk, rob, and lie to people. Ghana came up with an entire public statement which was published by the police to say no to this. Anyone who says is hearing from God, anyone who says they received a word of the Holy Spirit from God to give a prophecy to the nation of Ghana, they must be able to back it up. If they do say something and it does not happen, they risk being in prison for five years. And for that, I want to give a heads up and a, a round of applause to the government of Ghana. Because even the politicians are in Ghana. They are now coming on board. One of the politicians in Ghana reached out to me. His name is David Kankam Boadu. And most of you know him. If you Okay, David Kankam Boadu, yeah, I mean him no, mean him no. Okay, to a person who said David Kankam Boadu had the support at the Amano. Okay, okay. In Ghana, he's a very influential person. He's a very, you know, respected 
candidate who was right there in Ghana. And he reached out to me and he told me, Sir, what you're doing, we really, really appreciate it. And what you're doing, it's really going to set the captives free. What you're doing, we can't do it as politicians, but the fact that you're doing it, you're going to make our work as politicians much easier because these people are cancerous, these people are worms, these people are liars, these people are pulpit bandits, these people are robbing gullible believers from the pulpit. They have nothing of God. The only thing that they've managed to do in the nation of Ghana is to cause chaos. And this cancer that they've manufactured in Ghana, this virus that they've developed in Ghana has spread across Africa. And the entire African continent now is full of prophets. A prophet this, reverend, doctor this, doctor, prophet, what, what. Oh, this is rubbish. This is garbage. This is not a profession. Be being a prophet is not a profession. So Mr. David can come about, he reached out to me and then we spoke. We agreed that we are going to take this movement far much greater heights. We are going to take this movement to where it's really supposed to be. We are going to put an end to this charlatanism. We are going to put a stop to this nonsense called pro the prophetic movement. The prophetic movement, it's a, it's, a piece of, it's a piece of nonsense and it must never be allowed by any responsible government to keep on going on the way that is, it is going on. Because we have so many victims that are in silence right now. So many victims that are quiet right now. So many people that have been prejudiced. So many people that have been lied to, robbed, manipulated, raped even. So many people that have lost their hard-earned you know, assets, their hard-earned income to these charlatans that are lying to people that they are hearing from God. That are lying to people that God said give them money. Don't worry, I'm mentioning his name on this platform because he's very much okay with it. And he has said, put it there. Let them know that we are all so tired of this nonsense, of this prophetic diabolism, this prophetic gimmicks that are being pioneered by these criminals, by these charlatans. So on my top 10 list, let me just give you a rundown so that when I start profiling them one by one, I will start giving you enough information that will quantify them, that will leave you with no any reasonable doubt that these are jackals. These are charlatans. I have cross-examined all these names that I'm going to bring forth to you now. I have cross-examined their ministries. I have cross-checked everything that they do, everything that they stand for. And I've come to a conclusion. So say the Maji Moniso, Modu International, Yabumo Gakrao Online, Ghana for any account, Munti Asi, see the Nyanko Pondum, the Nyan Obisu also has so much in the day of Krufu for us. Conclusion that these are purebred criminals not just criminals they are liars these are these are a cancer they are they are a virus they're going to cause a serious pandemic if we don't put an end to their operations if we don't counter their evil agenda we have to stand up and say no to nonsense no to charlatanism then we put a red flag on them and say they should never be allowed to coexist with the true believers of jesus christ so upon this list, please, people, be attention. Ghana, 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 wake up, listen. These names that I'm going to, these charlatans I'm going to announce here, these are top, you know, top wanted criminals in the kingdom of heaven. They are the top wanted criminals which are being hunted by the, they are not. What did they work out? They are top wanted criminals in the kingdom of heaven. That's what you say. more no, no. You hear more heaven, heaven, a club wolf. I see even being handed they're just waiting for their for their demise but these are on the top list of the wanted criminals that have corrupted the body of christ the angels in heaven they are so frustrated they are so angry they are so they are so waiting patiently to be just unleashed so that they can come with their souls and in their acts of fire to burn all their shrines on my number one we have kusi boateng the reason why Kusi Boateng takes the cup for me, the reason why he is a charlatan that must be put into order, that must be withdrawn from the body of Christ, is because it's because of this charlatan called Kusi Boateng that, that we have so many false prophets in the countries like Zimbabwe and South Africa. Kusi Boateng is the sole father of the biggest charlatan in Zimbabwe called Emmanuel Makandewa. Kusi Boateng is the, also the sole, charlatan, the sole spiritual father of the charlatan that recently left him called Jubed Angel. Hubert Angel is no longer affiliated to Kusi Boateng because he also found out that this is a charlatan of the highest note. But Hubert Angel's moves are always calculated. They have nothing to do with the spiritual activities. It's always after the money and influence. That's why he left for another charlatan again who operates in the dark spheres called Chris Oyakilome. 
leaving this charlatan alone called Emmanuel Makandiwa, still subscribing to this biggest charlatan that I consider to be the biggest in the nation of Ghana called Kusi Boateng. Boateng is nothing of God. Boateng, Boateng is a certified charlatan. He is, does not represent anything of God. He's the one that initiated these two into occultism. He's the one that initiated Emmanuel Makandiwa into these diabolic rituals that is operating under today. And on my number two, we have a charlatan, a, charlatan, a certified charlatan called Prophet Badu Koobi. This man is not of God. A certified charlatan. Let's say charlatan. Let me say will be a certified one. It's when a certified charlatan. I see. I see. And he's running a shrine which is in which is tight. <laughs> Guys, funny. Ofre a year and sorry now, or more a running or Ghana as a shrine. Or so more or more running a shrine. And yet a church you and as a shrine. Okay. I told Glorious Wave Church International. I don't know what is glorious about this this shrine. I don't know what is glorious about this cult, but this bishop called Prophet Badukobi is not of God. Badukobi is a charlatan. And Brad, Badukobi needs to be delivered. Badukobi needs to depart from his way of deceiving the church of God, from leading the church of God astray. This is the time Badukobi has to repent and give the church of God a break. And disassociate his occultic and all his devilish operations. And on number three, we have a charlatan called Reverend Isaac Owusu who runs a shrine called Glorious Word Power Ministry. There is no word power ministry in this charlatan's church. There is no any glorious word that is being... Hey! I'm right here. I said, oh, 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 a shrine. I see. Preached by this <laughs> occultic charlatan. He is just lying that he's going to be preaching about the Wadenism shrine, but there is nothing of God. There is no kingdom gospel. There is no true gospel that is being ushered or ministered by this charlatan. Ghana, wake up. Smell the coffee. Evaluate these charlatans that you follow. They are not of God. They shall do no justice to your lives, to your spiritual lives whatsoever. Depart from them and seek the face of Christ. They are just robbing and lying to you. And on my number four, we have a charlatan called Prophet Gaise. Ah, Omovia. Omovia and Zabaha. I see. I see. Prophet Nigel Gaise is a certified charlatan <laughs> who's also running a shrine called <laughs> Prophetic Hill Chapel. Nigel Gaise is not of God. Nigel Gaise was never called. Nigel Gaise is pioneering this false charlatanism prophetic gospel, but he was not anointed whatsoever. If you have ever been prayed for or delivered by this, by this charlatan called Nigel Gaise, you need another set of deliverance from a certified man of God, from a certified true servant of God. Otherwise, what was left on you is left is more than what you thought was removed from you. Nigel Gaise is completely disqualified from the body of Christ. He's not of God. Church of God, leave this charlatan alone with their devil worships, with their occultic you know, initiations. Leave them alone for your own sanity and for your own spiritual sanity. On number five, we have a charlatan called Reverend Kofi Oduro. Hey! Hey! Any acquired information for sitting your boy a dear after the part two and son of the home information. I had going to assume you're faking about one thing. I see, how could you do? I mean, TV, he's running a shrine called Alabasta International Ministry. Kofi Oduro is not of God, Kofi Oduro is a certified charlatan. Hey. Alabasta, what my foot. Listen to some of these names that they give to their occultic shrines. They are obviously diabolic. Stay away from this charlatan called Kofi Oduro. He's not of God. I have cross-examined him. I have gone through all the dirty, you know, all the evil preachings and teachings and prophecies that he gives to his gullible followers. He hey. is not of God. He's a criminal. He's a thief. Hey. He's a charlatan. He's not of God 
at all. Number six, we have Obofo. Yeah, go Gwenji. Go Gwenji, bro. Go Gwenji. Go Gwenji, what's up, Hanzo? I see. I'm interviewing. Hmm. Friend Obofo. He's running a shrine called Anointed Palace Chapel. There is nothing anointed about the shrine that Reverend Obofo is running. Because Reverend Obofo himself is not anointed. Reverend Obofo is not serving the true Jesus Christ of Nazareth. Reverend Obofo is a liar. Reverend Obofo is a charlatan. Reverend Obofo is just after your pockets. He has no revelation whatsoever. He was not sent. God does not recognize this charlatan. Ghana, wake up. Stop associating yourselves with charlatans of this nature. Stand up, church of God, and defend the body of Christ against charlatans of this nature. Hey! I see. I mean, the okay. <laughs> On number seven, we have Ebenezer Adakwa Yadom. He is running a shrine called Ebenezer Miracle Worship Center. Mr. Ebenezer Yadom is not of God. Mr. Ebenezer of God is an agent of darkness. Let's start calling these, these people by the titles which they deserve. They have tried to decorate their, their shrines and their names using fancy biblical terms, fancy biblical weddings, but they have nothing of God. They are not associated to the church of God, to the true church of God, to the true church of Jesus Christ. These charlatans, they are just here to leave you broken. These charlatans are not spiritually uplifting you in any way or the other. Stay away from this charlatan. He is not of God. And on number eight, we have Bishop Daniel Obenin. Ah, Fatau. Ay! Angel Fatau. Why is Aji Mudin Preko? Oh, maybe I feel a monam. The Kalamus Munti. BBC, BBC, Namudumo. And Jamadu BBC, BBC. Bishop Daniel Obenin is running a shrine called International God's Way Church. This church is not any, in any way the way to God. Leave this bishop, so-called Bishop Daniel Obenin, out of the church of God. Church of God, wake up. Bishop Daniel Obenin is not sent, was not sent, and is not representing the true word of God. Ghana, listen, we are here to deliver you from these wolves. These are wolves, certified wolves, certified charlatans. We have nothing of God at all. We were not sent by God to do any justice to the body of Christ. This is the time whereby we end this whole charlatanism. We have to destroy this cancer. I am the antidote to this virus. And we have to make sure that we eradicate it from the grassroots, from the roots level. We have to make sure that we set the captives free. They claim to be setting you free. They claim to be leading you to heaven. They claim to be leading you to the true gospel, but they are none of that nature. These are certified gelatins. These are jackals as they are labeled in the, in the body of Christ. These are brood of vipers. Hey. Only thing that they want from you, just know this, is your money to enrich themselves. Ghana, we are coming. Ghana, we are coming to your country. Ghana, we are going to make sure that we challenge these evil regimes, these diabolic regimes, so that you be set free. Ghana is a God-loving nation. Ghana has true believers in Christ. But Ghana has been contaminated with these false jackals, with these liars, scandalous thieves. Hey! No comment. Hello, Ebusiafo. So, Pacifica Asracho Odofo dear. And the enough I won't call them is unique laser whitening. Unique laser whitening. I will toothpaste to strong one. What did you choose? I am not seeing a year fitter. Na a year fitter non suno. Na a ye and carbonic beer a woe no more beer. Any tea stain, 
coffee stain, smoking stain, sibia, unique laser whitening product. A beginning in every swamma or kama kama kama. The upper hand is a uchu so. Now, would it be a goo or brush it or so? Now, dear chuchu, send it soon in a kama. Oh, yeah, and who were no general were no massa into for a unique laser whitening. I was zero seven nine. Nine nine seven nine two three three zero. Unique laser whitening. I say, money says.